Welcome everybody, Mark Z here for ESPN Esports, joined by Tyler Fion Erzberger. And though the season hasn't started yet, that doesn't mean it's too soon to start talking about MVP. So, who do you think will be taking home the trophy this split? I think the player that has the highest chance of taking the trophy this season is the player that many people think that should have had it last year. The uh, first team all pro mid laner from Cloud9, Jensen who last year got the top mid laner position in all pro team, but lost the MVP to Bjergsen in a very strange twist. Jensen, always seen as the rival of Bjergsen, where Bjergsen always finishes first. You know, the moment with the Echo last year in the Vancouver finals, where uh, wasn't great for him, but he had an amazing summer season where many people thought he should have been the MVP. Then he had an ex outstanding world championships where a lot of people were saying he was the, one of the best mid laners of the entire event. Almost made the semifinals, barely losing to Team WE of China in the quarters. So coming this season, I think he has a lot to prove and I think the acquisition of Sven Skarin, who has a chip on his shoulder, coming in after you know being a ward bot for, kind of for uh, Bjergsen for the last two years and having not the best you know world championship, I think the partnership of Sven Skarin and Jensen is going to be really interesting to watch, and I think it'll be beneficial for both of them. So, There's someone else in that uh, long spiel that you had that you mentioned quite a few times that I think most people consider the favorite for this award. He's also won it four times already, also a Danish mid laner. Who? Who's that? Uh, I believe Bjergsen. Oh. I think I heard you say his name quite a few times there. This guy has to be the favorite. He's on what is projected to be most likely the best team in the league. As much as I like C9, they're not even supposed to be top two according to most people's predictions. Bjergsen has a lot new toys to play with down in the bot lane with Sven and Mithy. Mithy loves roaming. I'm sure he's going to enjoy having that guy show up in his own lane, help snowball. Mike Young, very, very aggressive. You talk about Sven Skarin being a guy that Jensen's going to pair up well with. I think Mike Young would do great with Bjergsen. You're going to see a lot of aggressive blue buff invades and things like that. I think Bjergsen has to be the current favorite for MVP. Can Bjergsen just give it to someone? You have four of them, man. Does he really need five? Does he really need five? He needs to make sure no one can ever surpass him, Fion. That's true, that's true. So tell me, give me someone else who's a bit more of a dark horse for you, a bit of a sleeper pick for who could grab the MVP from these two. I think there's a lot of sleeper picks. Someday from 100 Thieves, you have maybe Rainover from uh, CLG, but my pick would be Lyra at uh, Clutch Gaming from Houston. He's He doesn't make a lot of mistakes. He's a very proficient jungler. He essentially coached the team last year. If you don't know, a lot of people said that last year Lyra was pretty much a player coach. He doesn't even speak English fluently. So just think of this, if Lear's English can improve just a little bit, and if I will be positive his English is gonna improve mightily over the next year. Just think of Lyra at Worlds. This is a player that's only gonna become a bigger monster as the season goes along. He's smart, he's mechanically gifted, and he has the drive to win. And if I had to say, you know, a sleeper pick, I'd take Lyra. Very understandable. Someone who was almost on some people's ballots even last spring. So definitely someone to keep an eye on. For me, I think I'm going to have to go with Ole. Uh, he's a guy who was almost an MVP candidate uh, with Immortals last year with how great of a run they had when he joined the team and they started figuring everything out. He was number one in solo queue, absolutely destroying people all over the ladder. So there was a lot of hype around him. Just couldn't quite dethrone the kind of kings of Bjergsen and Jensen. But if he has another great split here, if he does manage to push Team Liquid over the top, I think you could see a lot of people who are more familiar with his name now willing to vote for him and actually give him that MVP. If you have someone that you think will be able to dethrone Bjergsen, comment and let us know who you think that will be and why. If you want more coverage of League of Legends esports, check out ESPN.com esports.